the allowing game. Here is a model to help you understand the importance of allowing, as illustrated by a simple children's game. Here's how the game works. A number of marbles rest on sticks that crisscross through a clear cylinder. The sticks represent resistance slash doubt, the marbles represent desire, and the fallen marbles represent manifestation, allowing. In the course of the game, the sticks are removed, allowing some marbles to fall to the bottom of the cylinder. The only way the marbles will fall is if the sticks are removed. In the same way, having a strong desire is not enough. It is only when your resistance is removed that your desire is manifested. The faster your resistance slash doubt is removed, the faster your desire can be realized. In other words, the speed at which the law of attraction manifests your desire is in direct proportion to how much you are allowing. Here are a couple of questions to ponder. Does having strong desire make your desire manifest faster? Do you have to remove all your doubt to manifest your desire? The following illustrations will answer these questions. In other words, the speed at which the law of attraction responds to your desire is in direct proportion to how much you allow. The Power of Allowing Having a strong desire with strong doubt means your desire will not be manifested. Having a strong desire with just a little bit of doubt means your desire will come, though slowly. Having a strong desire with no doubt means your desire will be manifested quickly. Although smiling, lottery ticket purchasers have thoughts of doubt about winning. If you have a strong desire and strong doubt, your desire will come slowly to you, if at all. The speed at which you'll win the lottery, your desire, is determined by how much doubt you have. Do you have doubts? The speed at which law of attraction manifests your desire is in direct proportion to how much you allow. Where does doubt come from? The most common source of doubt, negative vibration, is from your own limiting beliefs. What is a limiting belief? A limiting belief is a repetitive thought that you think over and over and over again. When your thoughts consist of a limiting belief, you are offering or sending out a negative vibration. That negative vibration is preventing you from attracting your desire. The phrase, I have to work hard to make money, vibrates lack which stops you from getting what you want. How can you identify your limiting beliefs? Here's an easy way to identify your limiting beliefs. They are usually found after you say the word because, as in the phrase, I can't because. Here are some examples. I'd like to write a book, but I can't because I don't have a university degree. I'd like to start my own business, but I can't because I'm too old. I'd like to have a more slender body, but it's so hard because everybody in my family is overweight. I'd like to have an ideal mate, but I can't because I'm too fat, too old, or too shy, etc. Let's go back to our two case studies with Janice and Greg. Janice's desire was to attract her ideal relationship. She caught herself saying that she couldn't attract an ideal partner because she was too old. And Greg caught himself saying that he couldn't be financially wealthy because he comes from a poor family. So what are your limiting beliefs? When you catch yourself saying the word because, you've just discovered one of your limiting beliefs. In this section, you'll learn how to use tools that will assist you in changing your limiting beliefs. Allowing is the absence of negative vibration. Doubt is a negative vibration and doubt is often created from limiting beliefs. A tool to help you allow. There are a number of tools for allowing. The first one we're going to explore is allowing statements. The purpose of allowing statements is to lessen or remove any doubt that is preventing you from receiving what you want. After making your allowing statements, you will experience a feeling of relief. That is, you will believe that you really are going to attract what you desire. Believing is also the absence of doubt, as is faith. Two ways to know you've allowed. 
Remembering that allowing is the absence of negative vibration, there are two ways you can tell if you are allowing. First, you can tell by how you feel. When you remove a negative feeling of resistance, most people feel a sense of relief or hear themselves saying, ah, this feels much better. The second way that you can tell is by noticing when manifestation appears in your life. When evidence is showing up in your life, you know you are allowing. In the following sections, you'll learn how to change your thoughts to positive ones. Offering these new positive thoughts over and over again will then create your new beliefs. Remember, a limiting belief is simply a repetitive thought you think over and over again. Therefore, any belief can be changed.